Two Bitcoin mining companies, the trend is our friend. Let's get it. And welcome back to the Rock Cloud channel. And today we'll be talking about two Bitcoin mining companies that we need to start looking at and paying attention to now before they start to run. For those of you who just started watching this channel, if you can please smash that subscribe button, hit me with a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Now let's get it. Okay, so right now we'll be starting talking about Bitcoin mining in general. Bitcoin mining has been big, but even bigger in these last six months. Okay, um, this here on my screen is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. Okay, from my research, this is how deep I go with this. Okay, this is the most highly sought after video card, okay, to mine Bitcoin. Okay, this is one of the, the most powerful on the market to my understanding. Now, this is just to my understanding and as far as I have dug, okay, for you and for my research. Now, if there's other information to this that you want to add, drop them down in the comments and you could add value to the channel by doing that for me. So I'd appreciate that too, okay? I look forward to you guys doing that. Okay, so now with that said, going back to this card here, okay, no matter where I no matter where I go to try to locate this card, it's out of stock, sold out. You cannot get it. It's not even on back order, like gone. Okay, so all these cards here, okay, the uh, GeForce 3070, okay, then you have um, basically the same card, but by different brands, Zotac, you have an Asus brand, um, uh, Gigabyte GeForce, I mean, it, it just goes on and on, okay, it's basically, it's the same card, okay, just from different vendors, and they're all sold out everywhere, okay, no matter where I look, which shows me that this is the trend, okay, Bitcoin mining is the trend. Okay, you can't you can't fight these trends. Okay, when they want to move, they're gonna move, and you can't you can't really bet against them. Okay, so you have to go with the flow, and I recommend we pay attention to Bitcoin mining and these stocks moving forward. But now is the time. Okay, I don't want to hear come June, July, and August that you're just seeing my video now and blah, 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 blah. so no, let's look at this right now. Okay, they're very inexpensive, and we're gonna get to it. I would just like to show you guys, for example, okay, NVDA, NVIDIA Corporation, okay, is currently trading at 520 and change. Okay, their products are being sorted out. Okay, they have heavy sales, and that's what's driving the force behind the stock, okay? Bitcoin mining plays a huge role behind NVIDIA's explosion, whether you see it that way or not. Now let's get started. Okay, first breaking news. Cryptocurrencies are going nuts in 2021, sending these stocks higher. Okay, and one of the stocks that we are going to start with is eBang. E-B-O-N is the ticker, and I'm going to show you everything bad about this company right now. Okay, everything bad. Number one, Wall Street analysts rate eBon a strong sell. They gave it a zero. Ha! <laughs> Okay, sometimes you have to go against the grain. You have to say F Wall Street analysts. Okay, and then secondly, it gets a little bit better, right? eBang International Holdings currently has a bullish signal, okay? Because people are looking at the stock and the company and the volume is starting to increase, okay? It's starting to get momentum. However, this is the news right here that we must pay attention to. Bitcoin mining machine maker eBank to launch crypto exchange in 2021. Boom. Okay, this is the news that's going to be the driving force of this company and the stock moving forward. Okay, Bitcoin mining and they're going to have their own crypto exchange. Okay, now it's going to take time for it to get momentum. Okay, and get moving. However, you want to get involved at these levels. Okay, so right now, eBang International Holdings, E-B-O-N, okay, is currently trading at 646, okay, plus 26 cents currently, still very affordable, under $10, okay? You saw that they don't have such great outlook on this company, and I showed you all that information. I'm not hiding anything, okay? I'm giving it to you as I see it. 
okay? However, Bitcoin mining is big right now. Cryptocurrency exchanges are big right now, okay? They do those two things, okay? They mine Bitcoin and they're going to open a cryptocurrency exchange. We can't turn our back on this. We see what's going on with Coinbase, okay? We see it right in front of our eyes. As a matter of fact, Coinbase filed an IPO for 2021. Now today, okay, if you look at this, the volume is pretty high, right? 8.3 million shares have traded. On average, 2.7 million, okay? So it's gaining traction. It's gaining ground now. Take a look at it. You may like this one, but I think my second pick may be a little bit better for a bigger run. And here we are. Bitfarms, computing power to reshape the world. Okay, Bitfarms is a blockchain infrastructure company that operates one of the largest cryptocurrency mining operations in North America. Okay, let's get some information here on Bitfarms. Okay. Currently, okay, a Bitcoin right now is valued over 35,000 for those that do not know, 35,181 and change at the time of making this specific video. Okay? It cost Bitfarms approximately $7,500 per Bitcoin that they mined, okay? So that's how much they are up per Bitcoin. Now you're going, okay, cool, great. Okay, but how many Bitcoins are they mining? Are they actually mining Bitcoins? Like how much money does this company have? What's the potential here? When you have a bit farm, a Bitcoin mining farm, the sky's the limit, okay? The potential is outrageous, okay? There is no bottom, okay? So... If it's costing them 7,500 per coin, okay, but the current value of Bitcoin right now is over 35,000, okay, they are making, okay, they're making over $27,000 per Bitcoin right now after they pay their average cost per production. Bitfarms operates one of the largest cryptocurrency mining operations in North America. Okay, I also just want to be clear that this company is based in Canada. I'm fine with that. Bitcoin continues to achieve strong returns on invested capital through emphasis on industrial scale operational efficiencies and cost effective infrastructure build out through its 100% owned electrical contractor. Okay, Volta Electric. Okay, so they have their own electrical contractor that is basically powering these farms for them. Okay, you can see right here, clean and renewable energy. Okay, this is a green company. 100% owned computing infrastructure. They owe out nothing. Okay, on-site monitoring and repair lab. 100% owned electrical contractors. On-staff electricians provide cost-effective and timely build-outs. Now on to some not so great news. Bitfarms made a loss in the last 12 months. Okay, not huge, not huge. Okay, they have lost $1 million. Okay, they are not showing a profit yet. They are not profitable. Okay, Ebon is not profitable as well. Okay, Ebang Holdings and Bitfarms are both not profitable now. Moving forward, give them eight months, give them 12 months. Okay, these companies will be profitable. Especially the way now everyone's turning their eye to Bitcoin and mining, etc. Okay, I don't make this stuff up. Okay, I'm giving it to you right here. I did all my homework. Okay, now like I said, if there's something you guys want to add here, drop it in the comments. I love this stuff. Bitfarms grew its revenue by 27% last year. Okay, that's a fairly respectable growth rate. Okay, and just to mention, while you know we're always worried and careful about jumping on a hot stock too late, there's certainly good reason to keep an eye on Bitfarms. B-F-A-R-F. Okay, and also worth noting that the CEO is paid less than the median CEO at similar size companies. Okay, so they're trying to cut costs where they can and how they can. Okay, and as the co company makes money, he is definitely going to be paid. Okay, on to some good news. Bitfarms announces $20 million Canadian private placement with U.S. institutional investors. I like it. Bitfarms announces the deployment of 
1,000. 1,000 miner rigs and the acquisition of 3,000 additional miners in line with increasing Bitcoin demand. This is what I'm talking about. Bitcoin demand. The trend is our friend. And you can't fight it. So let's not. Okay, and here we have it. Mining firm Bitfarm set to reach 1.2 hash rate and deploy 3,000 new machines. We're ahead of the curve. This is the one I really like a little bit better than Ebon at the moment. However, if you can, you want to add them both to your portfolio. I just want to touch real quick on their Q3 revenues posted. Okay, revenues of $6.8 million with a gross loss of $1 million operating loss of 2.8 million and the net loss of 4.8 million it's not a ton of money okay but they are not profitable yet okay this is why we're looking at the stock today we want to get ahead of the curve right this is where we want to be okay gross mining profit of 1.6 million okay um they mine 535 bitcoins with an average break even bitcoin price of 7500 they are totally in the green here. They also entered into lease agreements for 3,000 miners. I'm also going to drop this link down below so you guys could dissect it on your own as well. And let me show you guys real quick. We are comparing these two companies to Bit Digital, so to speak, okay? BTBT. Look it up on your own, okay? It's currently trading just under $26. Okay, this is where I think we're going to go. Okay, we're heading this way. Okay, I think the trend is our friend and I see no reason why we couldn't head up in this direction. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of time once they get momentum, but this is where we can possibly be. Okay, now take this news as you like it. BFARF is the ticker currently trading just over two bucks. Has a very small volume right now. Okay, currently traded over 923,000 shares, still under a million. Okay, a lot of people don't know about bit farms. Okay, FYI, those are facts. Oh, baby, I like it. Okay, those are the deets. Get rich or die trying with Rock Cloud. Please smash that subscribe button. Hit me in the comments and let me know what time it is. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm out.